Many people play uh, violent video games and uh, they, they watch uh, violent movies with uh, curse words and, and stuff like that. People who do, like, do things like this, I was one of them uh, earlier before I gave my life to Jesus Christ. People who live like this, they will end up in hell. And people who play, for example, games like Grand Theft Auto and uh, they go around and they kill people on the screen, uh, they are not holy. They are wicked and they are following Satan, even if they don't know it, because they, they are a child of Satan, because they live, they live in sin. And when they die, they will go to hell. In the Bible, it says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, I, uh, I read from King James, it says, Follow peace with all men and hold holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. So uh, we must live a holy life. We must, we must be holy or we will not enter the kingdom of God when we die. The people who make all these wicked, uh, violent movies and video games, mo most of them, I guess, they know that, uh, that people who play their games or watch their movies, if they live a life like that, they will go to hell when they die. And that's th their point. Uh, uh, because it's just an evidence, because in almost every uh, uh, a movie nowadays and uh, and video game uh, it's satanic hidden messages uh, they are putting satanic stuff symbols and stuff in their games and movies and why would they do something like that if they if they did not know that Jesus Christ is the truth and the only way to heaven why did why 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 worship Satan if, if they don't believe he exists it's because they know he exists. And uh, just uh, one example, in one game I played, uh, this was one of the last games I played before I gave my life to Jesus Christ. It was Grand Theft Auto V, a very wicked game, with mu much curse words and violence and, uh, uh, and stuff like that. In that game, when I played that game, uh, I drove on the road, and beside the road it was uh, it was a big sign beside the road. Uh, I don't remember the exact words, but I think it was Hell Awaits. They, they, they who, Rockstar Games, who made uh, a GTA, they, uh, they make fun of the players who play their games. Because they know that, because they have so much satanic stuff in their games, so, so they know, they know that Satan exists, they know Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. When people drive on that road in the game, and uh, when the sign says hell awaits, that is because they want to tell uh, their play the, the, the players in the game that hell awaits for them. You guys play our wicked game, hell, hell awaits for you, when you die you will burn. It's like they uh, mock the players, but they don't understand it. Uh, anyway, it's, it's very wicked stuff and uh, no one who play games like this will go to heaven unless they stop doing it and, and uh, repent from that and all other sins and follow Jesus Christ. This is the case. Jesus Christ is, is very serious about sin. When two people have got married, they can never uh, get divorced except if, if, one, of the, uh, if one of them have a uh, uh, being with someone else. If one of the person was unfaithful to the other, uh, the, that person uh, had the right to get the divorce. But that's the only reason it's okay to divorce. But Jesus Christ says in uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse uh, 28, I read from New International Version, he says, but I tell you that anyone who looks at the woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. No adulteresses uh, will go to heaven. They, they will go to hell. So, so this is how serious it is. And it's the same thing with video games, for example. Wicked video games with much violence and stuff. Just because the player don't go out on the street and kill someone in real life, it doesn't mean that the person is not the murderer in the eyes of God. In the eyes of God, 
the people who, who play wicked games and kill people on the screen are a murder in their heart. No murderers will, will go to heaven. All murderers will go to hell. In uh, 1 John chapter 3 verse 15, I read from New International Version, it says, Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. So if we only hate a brother or a sister, if we hate someone else, we are a murderer in our heart. If we just look at a woman with lust, we uh, commit adultery in our heart. If we just play violent video games and enjoy to kill people on the screen, we are a murderer in our heart. No murderers will go to heaven. All will go to hell and burn forever. So uh, I want to ask you out there, who do you love most, Jesus Christ or wicked video games and movies uh, with violence and stuff like that? What do you want to continue uh, follow? The games? Your, your own lust for, for wicked stuff? Do you want to follow that wicked way? And when you die, burn in hell forever? Or do you want to give your life to Jesus Christ and repent from all your sins? Stop, stop sinning. Live a holy life. Follow Jesus Christ. And when you die, go to heaven. It's up to you. If you don't want anything to do with Jesus Christ, uh, now it can be too late because you don't know when you die so if you are going to give your life to Jesus Christ do it now do it today you don't know when you die and it can be too late if you die without Jesus Christ you will burn in, in, in hell forever uh, it's no joke it's serious so you have to choose what you uh, want to do I, I, I play much violent wicked games like uh, like I said, like GTA and stuff like that earlier in my life, uh, I don't even miss it. The thing is that when, when we have gave our life to Jesus Christ, He will make us free from sin. He will take away the bondage from, uh, of all that uh, uh, wicked stuff we, we, we used to love before. I hate, I hate GTA uh, uh, and other wicked uh, video games and movies today. I, I, can't, I can't play them or watch them anymore because I now I have God's seed in, my, in me, so I, I cannot go around and sinning anymore. I can't, because I hate sin. Jesus, Jesus changed, changes us. So I want to tell you out there, if you love to play wicked games and, uh, and watch wicked movies, Jesus Christ can change you. He can make you hate stuff like that. So I, if you repent, if, if, you, if you ask Jesus to make you free from sin, Ask him to change you and he will do that. God bless you.